Come here, bud. I got you. Thank you. Holy shit. You okay? I don't know. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. I am here today at Wildemar OHV Park, which is this basically an adult play center for off-road vehicles. So it's an OHV Park, that stands for off-highway vehicle. Things like this, things like Jeeps, dirt bikes, all that kind of thing. And it's essentially just a selection of trails that run through this amazing wilderness and you just get to go and rip around on them for the grand sum of five whole dollars. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I have this Honda Africa Twin from Honda and actually has to go back in a couple of weeks which i'm really sad about and the reason i haven't been able to shoot more content with it is because again if you watch the channel diesel dog my dog he can't be left by himself for more than five hours at the house i don't like to leave him he's great he doesn't like ruin the house or anything but i just feel bad if i leave him for longer than five hours at a time so it makes doing day trips on things like this very difficult now i can take the sea out because it's super close to my house where i launch it from i can get out in no time at all and get back and i can do some really fun things within those five hours this it's taken me two hours just to get here and now i want to play around for a few hours and then it's going to take me two hours to get back so it's difficult to do this however i have now got him to a doggy daycare where he is comfortable he knows the guys there if you don't know his story he was abused before i got him i think and so it takes him a little while to warm up to people and really trust them and so i finally got him into a doggy daycare which means that it frees my time up to come and do things like this so i only have this for another two weeks i'm going to try and get out and as much as i can and shoot content because i know you guys have been asking for it and i also want to ride it i mean i have been riding it about off camera but i've not been able to do any like real cool stuff like this so without further ado, let's go and check out what this OHV park has to offer. I've never been here before. I don't know which way I'm going. So I figure we'll just kind of head in that direction as far as we can go and then turn around and come back and see. So uh, yeah, let's get after it. All right, what do we got? Kids training area, timber trail. All right, let's do the timber trail. Jersey Hill. Oh god. Sounds a bit ominous, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Can't say I like the look of that. Skull and crossbones and go back. And it's called Bloody Jersey Hill. All right. Well, I just got to Bloody Jersey Hill. First thing, there's a skull and crossbones here. Second one, it says go back. <laughs> um... I don't know that I want to try that. Like I said, my skill level is definitely lower than my excitement level. And so I know that I would come down something like this, think that I was gonna give it a go and then end up eating shit. And it's a long ride out of here for that. So I think I'm probably just gonna turn back on this one. It says go back all the way, go back, don't go, go back, go back. <laughs> So, you don't need to tell me twice. Strange people graffitiing on rocks. Look at that beastie. That was quite the lean angle, that's for sure. Oh, looks like one of my cans of liquid death has expired. <laughs> that's probably a good excuse to have a little drink break. Oh, it is bloody hot, that's for sure. <laughs> like half a can left Whew, yeah it's hot what's cool though so i'm wearing this tour master gear the last time i wore this was in colorado when it was freezing so i had all the uh insulating layers in it and then when i put it on earlier i took them all out there's actually like tons of vents and things so it's quite nice okay so i think probably what i'm going to do is head back and then at the bottom here there was another trail that kind of kicked off so i'll go and try that out but uh yeah i think it's just a lot of these a lot of like windy gravel trails i don't think there's anything too wild 
this motorbike. I was like, is that mountain lion? Because there are mountain lions up here as well. So you have to be a little bit careful about where you stop and talk to a GoPro in the middle of nowhere where no one knows you are. Oh, this helmet is so sweaty inside. Blech. Literally like a little swimming pool. Yeah, so these are the bits where that traction control and the ABS really come into play because it allows me to get quite hard on the back brake but luckily it doesn't lock up fully so I can sort of skip and slide my way down I can be a little bit more concerned with where I'm pointing the front wheels than worried about where the back wheel is going Absolutely dripping wet. Ooh. Okay, so this is the trail, um, or these are the trails, should I say? So we just, so this is where we are right here. So I believe I just kind of went up here, W8, W8. And I took this all the way up. I don't know where it gets to, maybe here, W8A. Oh no, that's hog nose. Somewhere here was that uh, bloody Jersey Trail, and we don't want to go near that. So. I think we try and do this W6, which is a sidewinder trail. It's an easy trail. Jeeps can do it, which means it's not going to be too gnarly. And it goes all the way from here. So we do uh, top lot. So we do, yeah, W1, W8. Basically just keep trying to look for signs for the sidewinder trail. I think that's probably the, uh, the next little outing after I've had a drink and put a new battery in the GoPro on my helmet. I tell you what, it's a bloody workout. I mean, it's not a small bike either, so doing these like up and downy, crazy, bumpy things. It's definitely a good workout. So, and this back tire has definitely seen better days too. So <laughs> it does get a little bit squirrely. Whew. All right, let's have a drink and uh, plan. Bye. Make your own, you know. Make a living and on your own schedule. This is, uh, I'm working right now. Yeah. <laughs> Better now. I'm, I'm on the clock. <laughs> Alright, go on, follow you guys. Alright, so these guys I just met. Um, the lad in the front, he's kind of new to riding. And uh, the guy in the middle right here in front of me, he's got a few more hours under his belt. So I uh, said I'd just follow them around and yeah, just kind of check it out see what we can find it's always fun riding in a group so i'll be on the fat boy bike and they're on the little bikes Yeah. yeah. That thing was huge. Yeah. Was bad, right? No. No, that thing was alive. What was it? A rattle? No, it didn't it look like it. It didn't have that little. Thing. No, and it, it had a skinny little head. Yeah. Huh. So I don't know what it was. It was like a garden snake or something. I mean, it was big. It was like. Yeah, it was longer long. than that. Yeah. It was, was probably long. like four feet, four yeah. five feet. You good? You good? Ah, uh, I hit my head. Okay. But, uh, what hurts? I want to get the goggles off my face so yep. I can breathe. Yeah. Oh, I took a bad spell. Come here, bud. I got you. Thank you. Holy shit. You okay? I don't know. 
What did you hit? So how's your, how's this arm feeling? Uh, both hands are tingly. Okay. Um, but... And how about your legs? Can you move your legs? Yeah. All right, good. Are you wearing a hands? Have you got a neck protector on? No. No? Okay. No, but, um, yeah, I think my, the bill of my helmet hit first. Okay. Push your neck back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, just keep this arm. Yeah, I, I feel real tingly. Okay. Never had that feeling before. Okay. Hmm. But nothing, no pain. No, no, I don't think I broke anything. No pain in this one. If anything, maybe I sprained my neck or something. Right, okay. I don't know. All right, we'll get you up in a second. Holy shit. Let's get this um, away from you. You're probably laying in a little ant's nest here. That might be... Yeah, uh, maybe... Are you going to give me this I'll arm? I'll tighten this arm. I'm going to support your head. Okay. And you're going to see if you can lift... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I broke anything. Okay, no, I, I think you're good. I just, you good? I just have no... I got your uh, head. Sit, sit up. Yeah. yeah I my, got, I got you. My, uh, my right arm is tingly. I got you. All right, sit there for a second. Yeah. Holy shit, Caesar! Helmet all looks fine though. You got some scuffs, but nothing snapped. Must be or... because I hit all the brush. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But I just did a real face plant. Right. Thank you. No worries. Just get some water. There you go. Thank you. I mean, honestly, you're lucky that you ended up in this brush because there's a tree right there, and it looks like this just all cushioned it. So uh, I think you probably just got a bit of a bit of a concussion, maybe. It's oh, funny. This is uh, rosemary. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> where, did, where did that scent come from? <laughs> All right, so let's try and uh, get you to stand up, get you out of this bush. All right, we'll uh, have a little look, make sure that you're okay, and then uh, we'll figure out how to get you on the bike back to the, uh, the base camp. All right? Yeah, I'll be able to ride back. It's just uh, I'll need to yeah, rest. Yeah, of course. No, no, of course. Except All right. I probably want to be leaning in the opposite so, direction. So Caesar, can you grab one arm too? Give me. Because give me. I, I don't have a whole lot of strength to. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull you. So if you just brace your feet against okay. mine. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. You good? Thank you. So I came off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you came down pretty quick. Yeah. So uh, come come sit down here in the shade. Uh, How you feel? Uh. Well, we'll sort your bike. Okay. Come, just come I take think, a seat. Yeah, I'll get it. I just want to make sure that you're good. You got dexterity in your hands and toes and everything. Yeah, but it's it's, it's sort of numb. It's tingly. I don't know how to describe it, but I've never had that feeling before. Looks like you came off this side. Got a little squirrely. Yeah. Came through and then, boosh. Good place to fall though. No rocks here. Well, I mean, you've got movement in your neck. That's good. You've got movement in all your extremities. That's good. Yeah, I was wondering if I could take off my helmet. I, I would think it's okay if I can move it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. We'll just... Uh, I'm carrying extra weight on Yeah, me. yeah, for sure. We'll just make sure you take it off nice and square when you do it. Oh. Ready? Yeah, nice and straight. There you go. Is it better like that? Like that? Um, well, it's less weight on the neck. Yeah. But I don't... Yeah, I would suggest that uh, we get you back. Are you in the truck or did you ride here? I'm oh, in the truck. Yeah, we're okay. in the truck. Yeah, I'd suggest we, uh, you can drive the truck, right? Oh, he's yeah, it's my truck. Oh, cool, yeah. perfect, all right. Yeah, I think um, best bet is to get you back there as quick as we can before you start to stiffen up. And then uh, we'll get you in the truck in some AC, load up the bikes, and then, uh, yeah, get, <laughs> get you on your way home. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I hope so. I always get injured on this bike. Oh, really? Because I go faster than my adventure <laughs> bike. My wife wants me to get rid of it, so I can't tell her. <laughs> I punctured my lung when I first got it. Oh, geez. Mm. Maybe you should just get a different, different one. This doesn't sound like it's a particularly good look, good luck bike for you. Uh, my friends are saying I should go smaller in the 350. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, it's probably best they fell in the into the bush. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah. If you had ended up just rattling yourself off the dirt or into one of these trees you would have known about it yeah, yeah we'll just 
And if if at any moment you don't feel good, yeah, I want I'll you to stop. stop immediately, all right? And we'll you can jump on the back of mine and I'll take you down. Yeah, I think we're just over the other side of this, aren't we? Up this hill. Good job. Yeah. All right. Let's get the AC pump in for him. Definitely. And uh, yeah, and then we can load up the bikes. You good? As good as uh, can be. You got some air. All right, holler if you need anything, all right? All right, thank you. Well, that's not how I expected that to end. That was a real shame. Um, so I didn't actually see him crash, but we came down a pretty steep section and looking at the tire tracks, I think what happened was he came over the crest of the hill a little bit quick and it was quite steep. It unsettled him. Then there was a little whoop midway down. He hit that and it just pushed him off and he ended up in the, luckily in this kind of soft shrubbery stuff. And uh, yeah, but I think he's pinched a nerve in his neck. He said his fingers were a little bit tingly and his neck was a little bit stiff, but he had full movement in all of his limbs and you know, no like real severe pain. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he did just pinch a nerve and once the uh, you know the swelling goes down and he rests up a little bit, he'll be back to normal again. But um, yeah, if you're watching this, mate, I hope you feel better. And yeah, sorry, uh, sorry it ended up like that. Um, but I think now what I'm gonna do is go and get a bottle of water. There's a cool little well over there, so I wanna go drink some of that and see what kind of strange mystical diseases I can catch. And then, uh, yeah, we'll head back and go and get the dog from Doggy Daycare, because he is gonna be so excited to see me. This is the longest he's done at Doggy Daycare, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna be super stoked for Dad to get home. See, I stupidly brought two cans of liquid death with me, and uh, neither of them made it, and now my backpack is soaking wet, and I have a puddle inside of my little, little thing, but that's fine. Whew. Yeah, that is definitely a friendly reminder just to make sure that you stay safe out here. Like I said, I came out by myself and uh, I definitely wasn't intending on crashing. Um, so I was taking it very, very easy. But, you know, we weren't exactly hoofing it then. So you can see how mistakes can be made and you can end up getting hurt. So if you do come out and do stuff like this, always make sure somebody knows where you are. Always make sure that you've got a way of getting help if you need it. And uh, yeah, just uh, take it easy. Um, don't go too crazy, especially if you're by yourself. Right, let's see what this thing's all about. I wonder where this is coming from. Ew! Let's see. Let's see how this stays. Pretty good. I think you can drink it. Buy some the power of water. And I'm gonna drink it. I don't think they'd put it here unless you could drink it. I think it's fine. Smash cut to me throwing up. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so disgusting. Blech. So while I was stood talking over there earlier, the uh, bike was reading 111 degrees in the sun, sat still. It's obviously not 111, but when you stood still and the sun's beating down, that's what uh, the bike thought it was. I can tell you, it feels like it, especially wearing all black. Once you get going, the wind gets going over you, it's definitely much more bearable, but it stood still. All right guys, well, that is it from Wildmar OHV Park. Smash cut back to maybe a beer actually. Should we do a beer smash cut? We like those. Maybe a beer and a diesel smash cut. Ready? Three, two, one, oosh. And just like that, we are back at home. 
I'm here with Diesel Dog, who just finished his first proper day at Doggy Daycare, where he did really well. He didn't, tr well, he kind of tried to escape. I took him to an outdoor Doggy Daycare the first time around, and he jumped over all of their fences and almost made it out of the perimeter one, which was 18 feet high. The biggest one he managed to do was a 16 foot breeze block wall. So yeah, he's quite the athlete when he wants to be, uh, but this one is indoor, so he can't escape. And uh, he did try and jump a couple of our little fences, but apparently they just put him straight back in. He was fine. So he's been playing with some of the other dogs. Apparently some of the puppies loved him, which of course they would. Who wouldn't love this face, hey? Who wouldn't love that face? Did you have a nice time? Did you have a nice time? Yeah? He's gonna sleep well tonight. Anyway guys, so am I because that was a pretty epic adventure. That Africa Twin is a lot of fun, but it's a heavy bike. And every time I get back from riding it, all I wanna do for the rest of the day is just chill out, which is exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. I feel like there's a movie in my future. There's some leftover pizza being heated up and I've got a couple of beers left in the fridge. So yes, happy Thursday everybody, or Tuesday if you're watching this when the video goes up. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe because it helps with the whole YouTube algorithm. Wait, no, the thumbs up is YouTube algorithm thing. The subscribe thing, I want to see you here again. <laughs> get my outros all mixed up. Now go to swords.com, get yourself some swords merch as well. Still got a few of these left and then we're going to be coming out with the new drop very, very soon. So uh, yeah, swoop one of the hats and the t-shirts and the joggers uh, and the crew necks and the hoodies while you can. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.